tight week, but I do wonder how you feel right now, you know, with the crowd in front of you, all the support that you're getting right now. Does this feel uh, at least a moment that you can enjoy? No, I feel good. I feel, I feel real good. Tactically, you know, strategically, does that favor one person or the other? Do you think that changes this fight at all, the change in the weight class? No, no I think it just makes it a little smoother. You know, smoother ride. Yep. Fair enough. And last thing, Nick, that I wanted to ask for you. As you sit here, I mean, is this something that you see, like, I want to keep doing this? As you, I mean, I know you probably want to see how things go on Saturday and how you feel afterwards, but is this something you say, I can't wait for this to be over and never do it again? Or are you saying, no, I'm happy I'm back and, you know, seeing this for the crowd, I want to do this more often? Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, def definitely want to do this more often. I mean, especially if I get my ass whooped. If I get my ass whooped, I'm going to come back right, right away. If I get my ass whooped, I come right back. Thank you, Nick. In the time you've been out of the octagon, your younger brother, Nate Diaz, he's turned into one of the biggest stars inside the UFC. As an older brother, how does that make you feel? Uh, I'm proud, I'm proud. I kind of, I tried to pave the way, set it up that way. I, I didn't expect to drag so hard. Coming back, it's been, you know, it's been kind of a, a mission. But, I, you know, I've done all the work my whole life, so, I'm, you know, I've got some fights left, and, you know... It, I'm in, I'm in pretty good shape, so we look good. I know a lot of questions have been, like, will this fight happen or not, especially after yesterday, but now that you actually see Nick right there on the stage with you, has your attitude changed at all towards him and this fight? Are you just still thinking about the fight? Uh, it's just business as usual, uh, just focusing on the task at hand. Uh, Nick's a hell of an opponent, so I had to make sure my training camp went really well, and that's what I focus on, what I need, what I need to do. And, Everything I can handle, I've, I've done it, so I'm ready to go. You also, you have two teammates on this card, Nick, up back here. Uh, you have two teammates on this card that a lot of fight fans might not know. So for uh, fans who don't know anything about Martin or Maximoff, what can they expect when they fight? Uh, yeah, I mean, Maximoff, he's a strong kid. He's, you know, he's got a lot of potential. I, th I see him going far in the sport. Um, yeah, I don't, it, 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 with his skill set, I don't think anybody's going to match that, you know. Um, he's a strong kid. Nick, when people say this is the people's main event, Diaz versus Lawler 2, what does that mean to you? That, that's, such, that's great. I'm glad they feel that way. Yeah. Mm. ESPN interview yesterday was pretty interesting and worrisome in some way. Do you stand by everything you said? Are you still maybe scared to go in the octagon, not really motivated by this fight? Oh, no, I, I never, I, didn't, I don't know if you took it through. I don't know if, I don't feel like I, I meant to say it like the way you said it. That was, no, it was different. <laughs> <I get it. laughs> um, is, is your, is your no, head in the I, right place? I, I just, what I, mean? I, I didn't, you know, there was a few things the way this fight got set up, you know, or lined up and, and um, I mean, either way, it doesn't make a difference. When I get when I get some someone in front of me, I I I, I seem to be right back. Um, you know, I did. I've I've always trained with you know with the best, and I've always held my own with the best. So um, it, it's just I you know I I didn't expect at this age to catch so much uh, so much heat and so much expectation from everybody. It's kind of hard to. Before I was used to just, you know, saying hi and being happy with everybody. And then now all of a sudden I'm going like, whoa, hey, wait, 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 you know. Um, oh, oh, thank you. Yeah. So that's, that's all. You know, I wasn't, I wasn't ready for all of the, um, the, extra, the extra attention or attention and attention. At least you got a lot of support. Uh, Robbie, can you react on that? What, what was your reaction when you hear... When you heard this interview yesterday, did you see it? Same reaction I always have. Like, business as usual, I gotta focus on what I need to focus on, which is a fight. I can't be watching everyone else's stuff, trying to figure out what they're saying and what's going on in their head. I need to focus on what I gotta do, which is get ready for this fight, make sure I'm in tip-top shape, and that's it. Well, since we hadn't seen you in the octagon or nothing, have nothing to go about, what do you have to go on that you can beat Kamaru and get the belt at 170? 
I think I'm a, a better fighter all around. If I can, if I can survive this fight, I got a, I got a hard fight, you know, with, uh, with this guy. So if I can survive this fight, um, yeah, I don't see, I don't, I don't see any reason why, I, you know. I so, so you gonna call him out if you win? You gonna call out Kamaru Usman on Saturday night? I, I think it's already. I think that that fight's already. Uh, yeah. Yeah. You know. And, and, and if I don't win, I'd like to see Robbie get the fight, you know. Uh. Nick, the world loves you. You're an absolute legend. But earlier this week, you told ESPN, quote, I have a lot of resentment toward the sport for taking so much from me and not giving anything back. It's a fair question. What did the sport rob you of and what does it still owe you? You know what, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not knocking like the UFC, just maybe like the whole sport in general, like, I think. Yeah, it, it, it's just, uh, I, I always fought like, you know, I had three to five fights a year for like seven, 17 years or so. All I, all I ever thought about was weight, you know, what am I gonna eat? After a while, you realize there's more to life and then, um, and, um, yeah, you know, after a while you realize there's more to life and then and then everybody kind of like, you know, uh dig, digs their heels into you when you're down. It's kind of it's kind of rough, you know, like um I you know, it's nice to see a lot of support like 2 weeks leading up to a fight. Um, you know, but what about the last 5 years, you know, is kind of how I feel. Of course I get a lot of highs and buys and and you know, I, I've, I've done plenty of handshakes. I don't, you know, I'd like to take some of those back. But, uh. All right. Thank you, sir.